Hello and welcome to a Blender tutorial on the Minecraft 3D Toolkit. My name is Jab, 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 or the McJabber, and um, I have created this toolkit for the sake of uh, Minecraft and 3D and stuff. Now, um, obviously, I've never done a tutorial before, so I really don't know how to talk about this, but Blender is a freeware program, and not oh, it's just because it's a freeware program doesn't mean it's uh, it's, it's uh, horrible. It's actually pretty nice. Um, the only thing that's really scary about it when you first touch it is uh, the uh, the UI, which is the user interface, and obviously, like it'll take a few few days, a couple weeks to get used to it. But that's not really a bad thing, because um, once you get to know it, it's mostly easier from there. It's mostly some small learning, like, oh, hey, I learned this new hotkey. Let's use this hotkey a couple times, and you won't forget it because it's awesome, and you love it, and you need it. So that's basically what Blender does for you. And a lot of people hate on it simply because of the fact it's a hotkey program, but I really love it. So, anyways, I'm um, just going to go through the basics of the layers real quick. Uh, the first layer is camera, second empty, third is the, um, if I can do this real quick, let's see, third is empty, let's just forget about it because it doesn't matter, fourth is empty, fifth is empty, now, see, in this section of layers over here is going to be all for the mobs, so the sixth is going to be the, what's this, the regular human, second so one, <coughs> excuse me, seventh layer is going to be the pig, eighth the sheep, and then Alt 6 is going to be the skeleton. Alt 7 is going to be the creeper. And if I can select it, 8 is going to be the zombie. And 9th is going to be the slime. What's this? He's happy. Now, that was just an action, by the way, that uh, I've created. And if you go into the action editor, and if you select the right object, apparently I'm having issues at the moment with the action editor which they won't show the uh, the stuff that needs to be shown I don't know why I'm doing that um, <coughs> let's see if I can try to get this to show real quick I, I mean usually you don't have a problem with this but lately I have so <coughs> so anyways I think it's because I have to control enter the. Uh, anyways, if you by the way, if you want to select an armature, you hit control enter on the armature if it's pink. If not, if you want to make it pink, if you're trying to select something nearby it, let's say <coughs> slime. See, so yeah, I can't select it. Well, I can, but like if I was right here and I was trying to select it and it was being annoying, let's do that. And it makes things much easier for you instead of having to complain uselessly for things like that. But, uh, <coughs> I really wish I could show you guys the key editor, but it's just not working for me right now for some reason. Uh, and LA edit, oh, hey, there we go. At least this shows it. This is basically what the action editor looks like, except, you know, stuff happens differently. Now, uh, I believe Alt-S is... No, that's not it. Either way, there's some some command that um, I will probably say in a later tutorial when I get to this part that uh, shows this uh, shows how to make selected blocks and repeating blocks for actions. It's called a dope sheet, by the way, um, that makes things move and repeated actions, etc., etc., etc. Also, if you want to play a action, you hit Alt A and it just plays it through on the 3D view. Now if you want to preview it, you would hit F12 just to see like obviously that texture is not don't know what happened there. One second. See why that's doing that. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's doing that. Um but basically Yeah, basically if you want to uh preview Let's get to another thing. If you want to be human, you know, being all cool like that, you just hit F12. And if you want to, like, see if this one moves any at all. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, if you want to see the zombie move, though, another good hotkey 
is uh, control or control F. Excuse me, that's uh, something else. Control F12 actually shows it, it literally renders the uh, zombie walking. And uh, you can escape at any time and hit F12, or excuse me, Control F11, and you'll see the zombie walking and other things that I've recorded because it's overlapping with other images. But, <coughs> anyways, uh, I saved them to image files, that's why it's doing that. And uh, <coughs> you can always lower the frame rate, or the amount of frames, start and end. Usually all you have to care about is end because you're making a short simple animation or whatever and it'll work best for you so if I want to make it like 50 frames it'll only play 50 frames see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that's awesome. <coughs> now um, Alt 3 layer is the images or the items I just made these so they're fairly new I'm still getting them into their shapes or their their names and forms so you can just simply go to this object in the outliner you can hit control F and search up I don't know maybe wood sword and it would come up to this <coughs> I would go to into the sixth layer which is the human layer and um, see this the mesh inside this empty mesh right here that controls the arm uh, this this is basically where your item would be held so I would go to the wooden sword <coughs> I would go to the uh, object area this is the object area and uh, the properties this is this PAR in the colon stands for the parent it's asking would you like a parent object this would parent to the uh, right hand mesh as you can see um, right there where my mouse is pointing and uh, you would type in okay right hand see it's not showing because you haven't selected the layer but as you will see right there it is um, right where the hand is and uh, uh, wait yeah control enter if you want to move the the armature and uh, as you can see it's got it parented so if you wanted to make an animation out of that and wanted that in your hand at the same time you could do that it's pretty cool I might do that in the future for armor and and uh, for the uh, mobs as well to have that which would be pretty funny I'd like to see a sheep with a leather helmet <coughs> anyways so I guess that would be the it uh, th that'd be it for the um, tutorial oh and uh, also the uh, one more thing, uh, the alt fourth layer is the sky. It looks pretty beautiful. I I love it. It was like the best thing I've ever done for the toolkit because it looks like the old classic, and it's just awesome. And also, I've made it so you would have it roll. You can't really see it, but if I were to let me go ahead and make this 2,000 and skip five, so it skips every five frames. And well, in the 3D view it doesn't, but in, when you render, if you go to step and you change it from one to another frame, it'll just basically skip frames and render it. As you can see, the sky is rolling. It's really beautiful. I love it. <coughs> and you can select hold it when using a map or something in the uh, in the animation, and it would really, really roll and it would continually roll forever because I've set it so it can do that. And uh, after that, <coughs> that's basically it for the basics of the tutorial. I'll should be sure to make more of them later so we can all be happy and be able to do this thing. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.